Okay, so this is what I discovered about how to select sounds for the Ultrabeat drum kit. So right now what it's doing is it's sampling this sample right here. So I can, you can make your own. This is my own, I just recorded some audio. It was just randomly on my desktop and I just picked it out and it's sampling it. And then over here I can control the sample and so forth. So you could actually do your own percussion instruments, sample them, and then use them this way. Or, let me see, let me do this. Go back. So here I'm in the ultra beat samples. And I was hearing some of these drums down here that that I think have a really nice tone quality to them. And as you can see, there's tons of them. You know, bells, oh, here's bongos. Oh, I guess I can use these UBS tracks, whatever that means. Anyway, it brings it in here. So let me just show you how I got this. So. Um, Cancel that. So if you control click on, did I control click? How did I do that? Sample, no sample. Ah, so on this right here, it says no sample loaded. If you just click on the word no sample loaded and click load sample, it brings up this dialog box that are all the ultra beat samples. So these are all the ultra beat samples of drum kits. And as you can see, there are a ton in here. Washboard. Hmm. Nothing. Oh. Preview sample and ultra beat voice. So turn that on. There's a washboard. So anyway, so you can click the preview sample and it just as you click on them, it, it plays them all. Okay, so cancel that. Okay, so the way I got to this in the first place was this was originally a um, snare. And so you just control, I think, yeah, control click. So you're over the, the box right here and you hold down the control key and you press click. And you go to the INT, which is at the bottom of this menu right here and you go down to sample. And when you click that, that then activates this box right here. And now you click on the no sample loaded, load sample, and oh, Asian drum kit. Hmm. Preview the sample. That's actually a very nice round drum. So I can keep that one. Click on the open, now I've got it. And I can actually go in here and around, you know, what part of the sample do I want? Oh, well, that's interesting. You can go backwards. There, this minimum thing comes in. You can hear it. So I got it going backwards, turns around, now it's going frontwards. Anyway, let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Well, anyway, this is a mystery. Alright, I have to read his lesson to find out what to do with this thing. But anyway, but that's how you can create your own thing. Okay, so I'm done.